number of years ago on Erev Shabbos Parshas Lech Lecha, my youngest son, Zevi, came home from Yeshiva. He must have been in first grade at the time. And he came home with a Shabbos project that was connected to the Parsha. And it was this beautifully laminated uh, sheet, which contained right in the middle a picture of him sleeping. And on the sides were stars, and on the top were three words. The word said, Ko Yehiyeh This should be, will be, your children. And it gave me the chills, thinking about that connection between my son and Avraham Avinu, that we are all children of Avraham Avinu. And the reason why I mention that moment this week is because in our Parsha, when Moshe is standing and giving his final address to the Jewish people, he says to them that you are so many, that you are like, Hashem has made you like the stars of the sky. But that wasn't the only thing that Hashem compared the Jewish people to when he was telling Avraham that his children were going to be numerous. Hashem also said to him that the children will be like kechol hayam, like the sand. That if you pick up sand, you couldn't count the grains of sand, so too the Jewish people would be so many. So why is it that here in our parsha Moshe chose to compare the Jewish people to the stars as opposed to comparing them to the sand? So the Afikei Torah explains so beautifully as follows. He says, when you pick up sand, you could actually pick up sand, a clump of sand, and the grains stick together in the palm of your hand until you disperse them. Sand, each grain is connected to each other very easily. Stars, however, are never connected. When we look up at the stars, we see them each individually. And although sometimes we can see them in a pattern, stars are never touching each other. So there is beauty to the stars, because they can be seen individually, they give light, give light off the moon individually, and there's pride in each and every star. Yet, there seems to be some discomfort that a star can't touch another star. When it comes to the sand, however, sand has no problem attaching to other grains of sand. Moshe Rabbeinu is reflecting on his life and his leadership, and he says there were times when the Jewish people were able to be united and together, and it was a machaya, it was wonderful to lead them. They believed in each other, they connected with each other. They took responsibility for each other. But then there were also moments where the Jewish people focused only on themselves as individuals and were not united. And when they weren't united, it was very difficult to lead them. They became very stubborn, and Moshe became frustrated. And then he says, How could I possibly carry all of you, all of these burdens? Moshe Rabbeinu was lamenting on the fact that when we are too individualized, we end up becoming disconnected. And when we're disconnected, there's no united Jewish people. And so here at the end of his life, he compares the Jewish people when we're remembering the difficult times, to being like the stars that are separate, shining but separate. We now are in the midst of the nine days. What we need is unity. It's a time when we reflect on tragedy. It's a time when we try to correct the mistakes of the past and the most meaningful of mistakes are those in which we didn't pay enough attention to honor and respect each other. It doesn't take away from the greatness of the individual, from the brightness of the star, to be able to connect with other grains of sand. And while we all want to succeed in life, sometimes our success ends up coming, at least we believe, at the hands of knocking someone else down through our speech or through our actions. Let us take these nine days let us take this moment and capture it and realize that to Hashem we are all shining individually, but He needs us to be united, to care for each other, to care for our legacy of Am Yisrael, and to remember that we are all children of Avraham Avinu.
holding the past and looking toward a bright future. When we rebuild, he rebuilds Yerushalayim, and we're able to once again visit the Beis Hamikdash Bimhe Rav Yameinu. Amen. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.